Maxim, Yasser, and Nazi are asking, did you feel like perhaps Wesley underestimated his position at the end? Was he perhaps better? Did you feel any pressure coming from him? Um, yeah, I must admit I was not completely happy with the way I handled my opening stage. So um, I played this F4 a bit out mm -hmm. of necessity because I didn't want to allow E5, Knight, E6. Let's uh, talk about the position, in fact. You started off with the London. How did, I mean, this must be a trend coming from uh, the World Championship match. Is that the case? Uh, technically, I even played it one day before. Mm. Before Ding played Austrian it himself. League? Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. So, but yeah, of course, like, uh, we know there's ideas, but I mean, if we should credit anyone for, you know, making the London trend, it's uh, Magnus, obviously. Mm. Let's talk about it. So. Knight to h5, bishop g5. Yeah, this came as a surprise. Of course, like there's this position in the Slav, but I play knight d2, so I'm one tempo up, which means after bishop g5, there's no more queen b6 because of knight e5, I assume. Knight e5 here. For instance. Yes, and now you have some problems with yeah. the knight on h5. But so I knew that, the, I mean, bishop g5 should be the critical try, but after f6, g6, I couldn't really figure it out. Did you feel like he still knew what he's doing at probably, this point? Probably, probably, and uh, sadly this was one option I didn't really re reconsider before the game. Um, Bishop e2 I was not too happy with. Uh, my main point was if knight g7, then I take on c5. And uh, just to stop you for a second, we just saw uh, Anish and Ali Reza finish their respective game as well. That finished in a draw. Let's uh, continue, Maxim. Yes. Take on d4, knight takes d4, knight to g7. Yeah, and here's where I didn't really enjoy too much my position because I feel like, for instance, if I castle, which should be the normal way of handling this, so knight d4, I take with, let's say, c pawn, I assumed, and knight f5. And maybe this is not the end of the world, but I felt like if anyone's going to be better, it's black. Mm. Now. This position, and it strikes me a bit as odd, it's not a very con conventional position, right? As a beginner, if you look at it, white has all, almost all the pieces developed, yeah. black's knight is on g7, but you moved e6, f6, g6. My pieces are developed, but at the same time, I'm slow now in you know, getting them to better squares. Whereas for Wesley, it's very easy, like in two moves, he's, he's castling, his knight can always jump to f5. Um, which is why I, I lost time, you know, to take, to play e4, and then I stopped Stop him from going knight to f5. And then to play f4, which I felt was not ideal, but... Mm. But what? at the same time, again, if I castle e5, I didn't really know what to do. Maybe here f4, but... I didn't think this was working, to mm. be honest. Mm. But maybe you can start with castle and then later play f4. F4 for here, queen b6 yeah. check, yeah. No, uh, uh, later play e5, I mean. Yeah. yeah, castle and then e5 because of f, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I went f4. I thought maybe sometimes I castle queen side. But after queen b6, yeah, the problem is queen c2. There's this move, which I. I mean, if bishop a6, c4, I was kind of okay with that because I want queen c3 next. Mm -hmm. But after castle, I just couldn't figure out what I should do. Queen a4. Mm, I mean, I, natural, right? No, I, I actually considered it here. And it's actually Which the is best not a bad move. move. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I thought castle and. Like, oh, queen c6 now. Take the pawn. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no so then bishop d7. But, yeah. I don't know, it felt artificial. And I was also considering queen a4, but even after queen b2, this I was not completely happy with. Maybe it's just winning for white, but... That's okay. a wild line. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you also... You rook up, but you do probably lose a knight, yeah? I have to cross up, yeah. I mean... But of course, he can also go bishop d7, and I'm not sure what I achieve. So I just thought queen b3 is the safe option. Because now, if queen e3, my point is c4. 
This is quite nice. Queen of four, I think I... Uh, no, uh, of course not. My bishop is attacked, <laughs> but if pawn takes, queen takes. That's what I... So, and after queen g5, no cd, and some knight f3, and... Well, it turns out I'm winning, the so... The queen is in trouble, yeah. So this was some kind of cheap trick I had, but after castle, it meant that I had to take. And yeah, maybe I shouldn't castle. Maybe castling was too too quick. But the thing that I missed is after rook e1, uh, it takes, and knight h5 now, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm stuck. You cannot go g3 because of g5. You yeah. Lose, you lose the bishop, you have to I give have up the bishop, but that's problematic, right? So, you know, I realized this in time. I took on a6 and played e5. And maybe I'm worse, but but I don't know. I was not too, too unhappy to know that I exchanged the, the How last How did you feel bishops. his energy? Do you feel like he was like happy thought, with the draw as well? Yeah, I thought point? there were two options. I'm not sure that Wester was happy with the draw. He felt like he was better, I think. Uh, this was one option, I thought. But then I just go knight f3. And c5, I go a a3, let's say. And I mean, I, I shouldn't be too much worse. No, it doesn't look like much. And another, which I saw Yasser mentioning, but I thought it was risky more than anything, was this. Now I want knight b3, so rook f8. And yeah, I thought, OK, knight b3 is maybe too much, so let's say a3, c4, but I mean, as soon as I have g4, you know, this and knight it, on g7 mm -hmm. is very... It takes a while to get it back in the game, right? Yeah, so I thought I should be more or less fine, even if I lose a b2 pawn, somehow I get counterplay on f5 and, and the a, a pawn. A pawn. Yeah, no, it definitely looks risky for him as well. Yeah, so uh, I thought I was not too happy with this. Um, I thought this was a nice try also. But it turns out that I'm fine. King h1, and if knight e3, I can play rook f3. If not, I'm probably worse after knight g4. But oh, okay. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But now knight g4, you can just give up the pawn back. But yeah. This should be good. Rook yeah. to e1, have some pressure on the e5. Yes, exactly. This one looks uh, so it maybe even better for you at this point. It, yeah. No, it finished. I mean, I wouldn't say better. Okay? I see. You know, the eval, but yeah. I wouldn't have said better. Um, yeah, th the game finished maybe a bit un untimely, but like there were some some moments. Yeah. How would you assess uh, the start of the, the tournament? You haven't played, uh, well, you actually played some uh, leagues uh, in exactly. Bundesliga and yeah. the Austrian I, I league. I felt it was important because I didn't have any any other classical game before those, than that yeah. in, in 2023. And my last tournament, you know, was such strongest opposition was uh, back in Singfield Cup. Mm. So, you know, it's good to get back some... How do you feel about your form right now? Coming along nicely? It, yeah, it, it's quite all right. Um, obviously, today was not very satisfying. Yesterday was better. But, you know, those, of course, uh, it will take, you know, one, one win or one loss to, to make or break. They're definitely part of the game. Maxim, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you in the rest of the rounds. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, MVL. Actually, a quick question, if I might ask to MVL. First of all, greetings from St. Louis, MVL. Uh, you're the defending champion. But against Wesley So, you have a remarkable plus score. How did you do it? And coming into today's game, did you feel like you were going to continue proceedings? Yasser is saying that against Wesley, so they checked the graphics before uh, the game started. You have an amazing score. I think six uh, victories and only one loss. Did you feel like that's playing a part in your encounters in general? Putting uh, more pressure on him? Maybe, but in general, it's uh, mostly because I haven't taken as many risks maybe uh, as other players against Wesley because uh, he's very good at punishing those. And yeah, in a few games, I got some nice advantage that I managed to, to roll out. And of course, I, I wanted to, to get something. And maybe I took a bit more risk than usual to, you know, because I asked Chad GPT about novelty about the Berlin, <laughs> and he said 1d4. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, it didn't um, go out the way I, I planned, but 
you know, um, of course, I, but I want every game I have with white generally, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say always, but uh, more or less always uh, want to to get a game and to get something going. So basically the takeaway from uh, this discussion is that you should always trust ChatGPT. Or maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, do you even know what ChatGPT is? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll, I'll show him after the, after the stream. <laughs> she, 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 uh, <laughs> okay. um, thank you. Thank you yes, for the answer. Uh, three yeah. draws uh, in this, uh, the second 